Hey everyone, Flying Dutchie here, and welcome back to Imperator Rome, where we almost united Italy. Let's unpause the game. It's a new recording session, so I hope that the game will run a bit uh, better since last time. Because last time it was horrible, and uh, I think it's better right now. So uh, yeah, in the upcoming episode, we are going to take a bit care of our internal problems. Well, they are not really problems, but we need to take care of... Our situation, our policies in the provinces. And once again, the technology, it's only 79%, so we still need to get more citizens. And um, in the meantime, we will let our manpower tick up again for the next wars. So we will not go to war for a while. And in the meantime, we will take a look at if we can actually promote some citizens everywhere. And of course, we will accept trade offers that we get. You are a free man country. You are having citizens only almost. Almost citizens. I'm gonna make all of these citizens, I think. Yeah, we need a lot of uh, oratory power for it. It's gonna take some time. Let's have some our disloyal uh, provinces. For example, in Emilia, which is over here the red one and it makes sense because they are the wrong culture and the wrong religion so they hate me they are very unhappy they want 20 but they have only minus so what you should do in this province is get the local autonomy option because now we are trying to convert them which gives them even more unrest so we should actually try to change this to, I think, the local autonomy here. Uh, in Venice they are happy and the loyalty goes up. We are doing the bleed them dry so we get more taxation out of it and more commerce. I think that's fine because they are very loyal. So we don't have to change that one immediately. Uh, this one is going down. In Senomania. Also because of the religion and culture, so I think we are going to change that as well. To some more local autonomy. Liguria likes me. Because they have local autonomy, but I don't think we need it here, because this one is uh, of our culture and religion, so... An eye for aesthetics. Ah, oh, give me the bunny. So, we will give you the local autonomy one. And now they are actually getting happy again. I think that's a better way to do. Oh, and we can get an omen. So I guess we go for the manpower, since that is the only thing we need. There we go. So you are having uh, local autonomy. You are going down hard, I guess. Well, it's not that bad. I think I'm going to keep the culture assimilation here. And here in Seromania, I think I will go for the um, local autonomy as well. Because they are super unhappy. Yeah, I accept all the trade offers there. And you need to be changed to something else. Because you are of my culture and my religion. So, you guys should get, for example... The I don't know actually. I think there was something cultural assimilation is still helpful of course because they are not Roman. Uh the religious conversion not helping. Not really helping here, no, no. This will not convert tribesmen, the social mobility, so we d they will not change to free men or citizens, the tribesmen. That's annoying. We want that. Ah, we need this one. A multi-chance of the following. 7.3% one tribesman pop promotes to a free man or a slave. That is exactly what we need. 
because we want to get rid of our tribesmen. So that's the one we need to use in the provinces where we should get rid of our tribesmen. Here in Pise, what is this? Oh, and we have a new ruler and he has zero authority. Oratory power. And what do we need? A Tory power. So we are very unhappy with that. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Owen duration, no, no, no. Tribute income, no. Assassinate cost. Monthly tyranny, no. Maybe, 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 maybe. Let's get rid of the tyranny quicker. We have no governor anymore. I guess he was the, the he's our new leader. So we have to put a new one here. Uh, you are a scorned family, so why not give you the position? And we have a lack of a commander. I'll give you because you are the best. Oh yeah, that's very unfortunate. We uh, don't have any oratory power anymore. But the good thing is that wait, you are now leading, yeah. And but we need uh, we need this guy to lead, but he is part of the uh, civic faction, and that means he cannot uh, get elected in the next one. So we have to choose between this one, this one, this one, or this one. I think it's time to go for the uh, populists faction to get uh, in power and become a dictatorship. I think it's time guys. I really think it's time. Ninety popularity, eighty support. Yeah, I think we are going for it. That means we should get a populist on this position, and we have a really good one here. I guess I will go for Gnaeus Flavius. So now they get a lot of points, two each month, which is perfect. Let's have a look if we can get a better. Praetor here. Yeah, we can get an 11 guy. I think I'm gonna get him here. Uh, we have a level 8 zeal guy. This is giving omen power and this is giving less stability. Well, then we need to get you here. And these guys are the best. So we have the best guys on the positions. That's what I wanted. So now let the game run again and see if we can change some more policies on our provinces here. I mean Corsica, cultural assimilation, I think it's still worthwhile, because not everyone is Roman here yet. I will keep that one on. The extra trade route for our uh, capital province is fine. Here in Etruria local autonomy is useless. We have to get to the civilization effort so we get rid of our tribesmen. If we have tribesmen. We don't have a single tribesman over here. So that's uh, really good. You are my manpower province, I guess. You as well. Let's get some buildings. Uh, you get one of these. You get two of these. You get one of those. Two of those. There we go. So, now this problem is also fully built. That's the same as Lati Latium here. I think we cannot build more buildings. Yeah. So those two provinces are now fully uh, worked on. Do we have any tribesmen here? No, and they are also not getting made anymore, so that's really good. So we don't need a civilization effort here. Because there is no tribesman. So what do we want here then? Maybe some man manpower? Or more taxation and cobbers? So we still need to make them Roman. Is 
used to bleed them dry one here. They are still happy when I do this, so... There we go. Latium with the extra trade route is very nice. Here in Aeternum... We have the Borderlands. And we still have a lot of tribes, man, in this province. So I think I will use the Civilization Edict here. Oh yeah, the marketplace are getting built. Very nice. Get a lot of power from that. A lot of uh, income as well. Going uh, the right way here. And the annexation is going to happen very soon. I think I annexed uh, two of them already. Yeah, there we go. I think that is why uh, we got so, much, so many tribesmen there. Members of the mercantile faction have something of a reputation regarding drive their support. I don't want to lose money. Uh, the party leader can become unhappy. How old is he? Okay, that doesn't matter. I'm gonna make him unhappy. There we go. Frentania is almost annexed. Couple more months. How is our manpower doing? Okay, our manpower is recovered. And we can build a lot more armies too. And I think I will. Because we need that. Maybe some more shock action troops. We have 10 of those. Oh yeah, you were my... You were the one that was stuck for a long time. But these guys are all loyal. But we cannot split them out of each other. Which is really annoying. Military access, sure. Hos Histonium, the capital of Aeternum. More Romans for... Yes, we will do that one. We have civic advances. We now have level 5. More income as well. And this is the last one to annex, guys. And then uh, we have all of Italy under our control. The province is here. The Aeternum one. A lot of tribesmen that needs to be converted. This is going up. The civilization value. It goes up with... How much? 0.2. Which is nothing. Yeah, we need more oratory power. I think it's time to become a dictatorship. I'm done with the Senate here. Too much problems. Just have to make sure that he comes. Uh, he becomes the leader. Spend some of our points to get the this up, the the, the, the tyranny. And then we can do the uh, the decisions, I think. So, we want to do here civilization effort. There's a 10% chance one tribesman pop promotes to a freeman or a slave pop. Yes. That is what we want. Over there. Oop, that was the wrong one. A civil war ends somewhere else. We are not really interested in that. Uh, can we build some buildings in this province? Oh, we can. But we don't own that one yet. These two. Let's wait for the annexation. And then we will uh, use some uh, edicts here. And we also have to um, see what we are going to go for next. Since we will not have the oratory power, we should use one of our claims that we already have. Which is where? On Macedonia, Carthage. So we should go into Greece. And that's totally fine because they are our religion. So that makes them a bit happier. Ma Macedon is uh, getting destroyed. So the next war will be against Macedon. Gonna take all of their land. This, these troops... Oh yeah, you cannot attach on a boat in this game. Uh, you go there. Gonna bring over the armies. You guys go on that one. You go on that one. And 
And I will make another army. A new one. You guys go over. Uh, go to that port. And you go over there. You guys go on this boat. You guys are gonna move over there. Go to Apollonia. Yeah, we need way more oratory power. Otherwise we cannot do all our things. It's going to be super slow. Couple more months. Martial advantage, more morale. More upkeep with the military tradition goes down again. Speaking about the military tradition, we now need 1328 points for the monthly war exhaustion. It's not really great, but we want the new tactic. Alright, they all arrived on land here. The Fabian reforms. The poor numbers and downtrodden have long argued for inclusion in the great armies of Rome. The Marian reforms. We get more manpower recovery speed. More loyalty gain cha change. Chance for the troops, I guess. Sense of war civic faction. Rome gains the national unrest and we gain 200 military power or not. Can I switch between switch to and, fro and from the final law in the military reforms category? Let's have a look at this. Military. So they want to go to the Marians, right? The Marian reforms drastically overhauled the organization and recruitment policies of the Roman Republic. Requirements for entry into the army were largely abolished and the now ineffective manipular system was restru restructured, resulting in permanent cohorts consisting of centuries of soldiers. Now with this one, we lose 5% morale. Hmm. I don't like it actually. I'm gonna ignore it. Macadon, you are going to die. Let's prepare our armies on the borders. So we have a big mountainous uh, range that will block everything. Except for you. You go there. Uh, you guys run down as well. Still need to wait for the points for another province policy that we need to change. Do they still have access to the water? Yeah, they do actually. Uh, we should put some blockades around his, uh, his land. Actually, can we stay here? Yes, that's a good option. So let's create another army. We are making tons of money. What will their tactic be? Some sort of phalanx tactic, right? Normally. Because that's what they used to... And so, the, so I think cavalry is going to be useless against Macedonia. That's what I think. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo, where are the troops? Yeah. We could actually get some... Uh, camels. Oh no, we can't. It's just listed here. Also not get that one, and we cannot get that one. I'm just going for... This. Actually build two more of those. For a uh, big army with heavy infantry and heavy cavalry. 
gonna put them on here, this border here. Oh yeah, we still have this one of course. We'll also start fighting. Another invention. Give me the research. We have points again. Let's have a look at the provinces again. Uh, so we did Campania. We integrated Campania now. So very good. We are doing the civilization effort. So our tribesmen are getting converted. And what about Campania here? They are the right culture and the right religion. So we should... Maybe try to get rid of tribesmen if they are still there. I only saw one here. Two, three. No, we only have three tribesmen here. So we don't need that one. We don't need this one. Uh, we don't need that one. We don't need that one. We could use that one. I think we're going to bleed them dry here. Yeah. And they are still happy when I do that. I will convert the... Simulate the tribesmen over here. No, of course not. We have we need way more points. It's all oratory power. We need it so much. Okay, you guys go to Apollonia and stay there to be ready to fight. How many cohorts do you have? 47. That's actually a lot. You guys need to combine an army. How oh, is the supply limit? It is horrible. This army is too big. Armies are just way too big. Uh, you can stay there. Except... Uh, let's see if we can build some buildings in the province of Aternum. I think we can build a lot of pro buildings here. Uh, maybe some more marketplaces. You will become manpower. And you will also become manpower. We need to, we need to uh, get our provinces up for civilization and for free men. You could also just uh, specialize your provinces uh, f into one population group. But that's not what I'm going to do. Go here. Get on the boat. And then you go Apollonia. Then we get ready for this battle here. You guys can group. You will do the yeah, bottleneck or shock action. They are both actually alright. Give you that one and... I'm gonna give you a bad general. It's only one less marshal. But you will have uh, less scorned uh, families. Good amount of uh, trade income. Okay, you guys are ready to go. I think we can start this war soon. We have so much manpower. Yeah, this loyal character, that's fine. Is he becoming more popular? He is. At the moment, we have the military guy. That might come into power. I would prefer this guy. But he's getting more and more popular, so... 
because of our sensor here. Xenomania is becoming too disloyal. Let's have a look at Xenomania, that was over here. Yeah, because we are converting them. Maybe just give them local autonomy for now. Yeah, that will solve the problem. So, we did a bit of uh, internal corrections, I would say. We are using the right policies in Etruria, Latium, Aeternum, Campania. Now we have these two, Lucania and Apulia. They are using... Yeah, that's, that is the one that is only for uh, your... What do you call it? Your uh, governor. He makes himself richer. <laughs> it's really stupid. You are all not scorned. Yeah, we don't need the best governor in this area. Because they are already at the right culture and stuff. So maybe just give a bad one here. And use the better ones in regions where we need it. Choosing the sites. No, or... Uh, I'm not gonna lose so much power. No, I won't. Okay, let's get those uh, troops to... Epirus, and then we declare the war. What is their technology? Yeah, they have tech 6, and we have tech 5. Quicker sieging. Yeah, we actually have 116%. And why is that? Because of our... I don't know. Because of our omen, I guess. No. Wait, what? Why is it so high suddenly? What happened? How did this go? How did this go up so much? I have no idea. But we are researching like crazy suddenly. If you guys know, tell me in the comments. Because I don't know. Still learning the game. Alright guys, the war will happen in the next episode. We are out of time. Thanks for watching. Please thumbs up the video as you should always do. And in the next episode we start the war immediately with Macedonia. I hope to see you there. Bye bye.